I'm sorry, I was just exercising my tongue, doing some tongue ups right there. Did you know that your tongue can grow an average of three inches long? And also taste buds can also be found in your noses, in your epiglottis, lips, and cheeks. But aside from that, there's this other fun fact that you use the tongue for the harmonica. I'm your resident Dr. Cilindro, and you are my interns for today. And I'm here to teach you how to use tongue block in playing the harmonica. Let's get it on. Before anything else, I'd like you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, to like this video down below. If you haven't watched previous videos, please do watch them. The last video was about train whistle or your breathing exercise. So I would like to give a summary of this video before we start. So first off, I'm gonna introduce you to the tongue block method. I'm gonna tell you what it is, how it's played. I'm gonna give you some tongue block exercise. Let's get started. Tongue block, it's in the name itself. You use your tongue to block the holes of the harmonica and then you play on the sides of your tongue, on the open holes. So for example, with this harmonica, I use my tongue to block the one and two hole, and I can blow and draw on the right side of my tongue. You can do a lot of things with tongue block. A lot of people do vamping. So that's just movement of the tongue in and out of the harmonica produce that chord and that single note play tongue block is one of the methods you use aside from poker method no method is better than the other i really need to tell you guys you need to learn both you need to be good in the poker method and good in the tongue block to be an effective player you need to know how to use those methods you can't just be a poker method player or you can't just be a tongue block player you need to be both i'm going to show how it looks like without the cover plate so as you can see i have a harmonica without the cover plate and the reed plate. The plate with the thin flat metal that vibrates when you blow and draw. So this is what you call the comb of the harmonica. It looks it's like in the shape of a comb. You can't brush your hair with it of course. And then you have the holes, squares in front. You see the black column in between the partitions there that divides each hole from each other. And then using the tongue block you can place the top of your tongue near the tip. You don't use the tip of your tongue, you use the top of your tongue nearest to the tip. So as you can see in this uh, demonstration, my tongue rests on the two holes that I want to block. The blue hole is where the air goes when I want to play. That's how you want to do it when you're using tongue block. But the two red dots that you see on the screen is the position where the tongue is, where it's blocking the hole. You can also do it in the left side of the harmonica. As you can see, the blue dot on the left is where the air is passing through, while the two red dots are your tongue, which is blocking the holes. There's this thing about tongue shapes, different tongue shapes. Some of you guys might have a genetic advantage over me. I don't know if it's genetics or whatever. Like those people can do a U-shape with their tongue. Basically, with that U-shaped tongue, you can uh, block, for example, the three and five hole, and then you can play in the four hole. That's a different kind of technique, and I can't show that to you right now. I can't do that with my tongue. Different tongue shapes give you different advantages. So moving on to the tongue block exercise. So what we're gonna do now is all single notes. So just like the pucker method, we start on the four blow, I want you to blow and draw there alternately using the tongue block method. Place your tongue on the two, three hole to block them. And then you blow on the right side of your tongue, on the four hole. You can use any grip for now. You can use the cup hold grip as I taught you the last time. But the important thing here is to know how to tongue block to play a single note. As you can see, the shape of my mouth, there's a wider shape, wider embouchure, the rest on the roof of the harmonica. And they say that tongue block gives you a more solid tone compared to a poker method. I like the way tongue block feels. That's why I use it a lot in my playing. Make sure your tongue isn't strained or isn't tense on the front tip. You just want it to rest comfortably on the front of your harmonica, blocking the two or three holes. You don't have to put pressure on pressing on those holes that you're blocking. Make sure it's relaxed. Still on the right side, you can move on to other holes. The five blow, five draw, and then alternate. Ascend, descend, one to 10, with the tongue block on the right side. Starting on the one hole, you need to have your tongue rest on the comb of the harmonica, touching this solid surface with no hole. Blow and draw, and then you ascend to 10. And then you go down again, still playing on your right side, 10 to one, single notes, blow and draw.
So that's the right side of the tongue block plane. Now you also need to know the left side tongue block plane. There's no restriction when using tongue block to play in the left or right side. It's really up to you. It's really more comfortable. So now the left side, the same thing. This time you start on the one blow and you put your tongue on the two and three hole. Block it with the top of your tongue nearest the tip. Blow and draw, alternate. And then you can move on to the other holes. Get the feel of your tongue moving from each hole. You don't have to be fast. Just be slow and accurate. Hit those notes, clean and clear sound. Like the right side of the harmonica, I want you to do an ascend one to 10, playing the left side this time. And also the send, 10 to 1 on the left side. There, that's the right side and left side of playing the harmonica with the tongue block. So learn those, practice them, make sure you have clean and clear sound with your tongue relaxed on the holes that it's blocking. Also practice left to right switching. So you play on the right side and then you switch to playing the left side. So your tongue is on the two and three draw, blocking the two and three draw. So now you have your right side and left side open. First, I want you to play in the right side on the four blow and then play one blow on your left side. And then four draw on the right side, then one draw on the left side. So alternate blow blow draw draw and then you move the harmonica to the next hole move it up one hole And then you can also do ascending and descending with the same pattern. You're consistent with a clean and clear sound. You might feel that you're gonna have to move the harmonica a bit, tilt it to the left when you're playing the left, tilt it to the right when you're playing the right. So you're switching from right to left, or you can change it up, you can make, you can make it left to right, it's really up to you. As long as you're using the tongue block, blow and draw, clean into your sound. So yeah guys, that's the tongue block method. So if you miss anything, you can just go back to it if you want. Uh, I'll give a recap here of course. First off, the tongue block, it's in the name itself. You're gonna block two holes with your tongue, two or three holes with your tongue, and then play in the left, right, or on both sides. Poker method, tongue block method, none of them are better than each other. To be an effective player, you need to learn those two methods. And then the tongue block exercise that I taught you, start on the two and three hole, and then you blow on the right side of your tongue, blow and then draw, alternate, and then you can move on to the other holes. You can practice uh, ascend, descend, one to 10, just like what you did in the poker method in the first video, playing all in the right side. Also do the same with the left side, playing everything in the left side of your tongue, one to 10, blow and draw, and then ascend, descend. And then you can also practice switching. You play in the right side, the four blow, and then play in the left side, the one blow, and then return to the four hole, play the draw on the right side of your harmonica, and then the left side, draw on the one hole. And then you can do that ascend, descend as well, one to 10. Always remember to keep the tongue relaxed and the clean and clear sound. Make sure it doesn't leak to the sides. I'm your resident, Dr. Salindra, and uh, thank you for being patient interns today, and I hope that you take care of your tongue. Harmonica fun fact for today. Do you guys know there's this instrument called the Sheng? Chinese mouth-blown free reed instrument. As you can see, it's vertical, and it's very big. Unlike the harmonica, which plays horizontally and super small, uses a free reed mechanism, so it has reeds that vibrate when you blow and inhale. That's the ancestor of the harmonica right there. Harmonica fun facts. More to come. So guys, please like this video if you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please leave it down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next video.